I was originally a Bernie Sanders supporter. Uh, very disappointed he lost, but one um, he lost, uh, and he went to support Hillary Clinton. I decided to support. Him. I was never enthusiastically um, inclined to support her, uh, but when I looked at the alternative, um, it was no contest. He's one of the worst candidates to ever be, not because of my dislike for him, but because of what he has done to his followers. What I mean by that is this. Donald Trump knows himself that he's a con artist and he doesn't really necessarily have all his followers um, um, in mind. He just wants to promote himself. The people who is following him, a lot of them have a lot of pain. A lot of them hurt. And they want to reach out for something new and they want to go. And for them, I feel more sorry at the fact that the candidate they're reaching out for is just using them for that. It's impossible for Trump to become president. So for me, that's not even a question because he has no pair. He absolutely has no pair. Probably vote for Jill Stein, even though she probably won't win, just because I think out of all the candidates, her ideas are at least close to the ideas I would want represented. Even though I know she won't win, I think the point of voting is you're supposed to choose the person you want. I think the Donald Trump argument's stupid because the Donald Trump supporters are saying the exact same thing, or the Republicans are saying the exact same thing, that if you don't vote, it's a vote for Hillary. So either way, apparently voting for a third party candidate or not voting at all is a vote for whoever you don't want to win. That's stupid. You should just vote for who you want. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Jill Stein. Well, I'm less worried about finding a job after school. I'm more worried I'm not going to make it that far. Very, very few people who were actually running these races. This is uh, shit, man. Anticipated that this night was going to be so strong for Donald Trump. 257. It is amazing to me, and yeah, this man. is not an original. It's over. That's but it. the Donald idea Trump's that the, the Clinton States. campaign could see white working class voters going to Trump in places like Iowa and Ohio and not. You guys want to watch our country die minute by minute? <laughs> or you don't care? I'm happy with that. I mean, like, I'm scared two more states. I'm excited. <laughs> That's kind of how I am. Like, I want to see what happens. I mean, but it's like, like, everyone didn't want, want to be president, and now he is, and he's changed well, so many things, but now. Most people wouldn't rock to be president, to be honest. Especially around here. Something good has to come out of it. Oh, yeah. The whole part. The only thing that I think will be good that will come out of it is now not every president will have to have a political background. That's the only thing. I mean, he's a businessman, so he can make us money, but what else can the fuck he do? crazy thing is, he's a failed businessman. don't even know. He's a failed businessman. He can throw shade. He can throw major shade. As much as he started out with, he hasn't made nearly as much as he should have. It's sad. It's genuinely sad. This is probably one of the saddest moments in American history. This dude is about to get elected that doesn't give a fuck about people that look like me. Look at, look at this shit. Look at this shit. You see Mike Pence, the vice president, so running Fuck Mike Pence. his wife, they're walking yeah. in. Uh, it, this is scary. And to be a black man in America and then say I'm scared for how things are going to be soon, knowing how things are already now, what do you say? This dude is about to be the leader of the free world, and he's endorsed by the Ku Klux Klan. People that used to hang people like me from trees for no reason other than for the fact that I look like I look. No reason. And this man is about to be the head of a country that I live in. What do you do, man? Oh, it's not real. We're so fucked. This is not real. Look at him. Life. This is not Mr. real. Look at ass walking out on stage. 
This is not real life. I think I need, I need a moment just to cry. That's exactly what this is right now. Time so many to things to say about. All right. All right. And oh. what the new Donald Trump yeah, yeah, taking over the institutions that he called wow. white so many times. Here he comes to the microphone, Donald Trump. Wow. I can't believe I'm alive for this moment. Like, my kids are going to be reading about this in history books. This is so depressing. Thank you. Oh, Thank you very much. fucking God. I'm going to go in my room. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of division. We have to get together. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. It's time. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans. And this is so important to me. For those who have chosen not to support me in the past, of which there were a few people, I'm reaching out to you for your guidance and your help so that we can work together and unify our great country. As I've said from the beginning, ours was not a campaign, but rather an incredible and great movement made up of millions of hardworking men and women who love their country and want a better, brighter future for themselves and for their family. It's a movement comprised of Americans from all races, religions, backgrounds, and beliefs. Oppression of any minority is the oppression of all minorities. So we have to stand together as the United Minorities of America and we need to love each other and we need to come together and realize that we can't fight our own battles without fighting everyone's battles. Expect our government to serve the people and serve the people it will. Working together, we will begin the urgent task of rebuilding our nation and renewing the American dream. crazy ever happened, your question was, what would I do or how would I feel? I would accept it like any other election. And I would work like hell to make sure that he was one term.